think we're good. If anybody could give me a thumbs up saying that you can see and hear us, that would be awesome. Sorry, I tried to go live there for a second and it like, it stuttered on us. So let's see. Ooh, yuck. Okay. Are you enjoying yourself? Good morning, Laura. I think we're good. All right, I'll go grab the puppy dogs. Then I kill first Daisy can't even move. They're getting some milk from Mama. Look at Daisy, they can't even move where my puppies are. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. In case you're not aware, this is uh, Daisy and her litter of uh, Cavalier King Charles Spaniel puppies. They're six weeks old. And we'll be going home in about two weeks. Um, Daisy is our tri colored mama. Oh, hey, keep it down, sweet. And uh, the puppy's dad um, is Spike, who is a Blenheim, and this is this is Blenheim for anyone who is is unaware. But um, what are you doing, you silly goose? Are you being silly? No, the puppies lick me too much. They licked you so much. No, they licked me too much. Oh, they licked you too much. Yes. They licked you so much that. It knocked you over? Yes. 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 Oh, here comes Jenna Jenna. She's like, oh, I, I like you. I like you. Hi, Indy Indy. Hey, guys. Hey. Yeah. What good puppy dogs. Who's such good puppies? Who's such good puppies? Hey, May, are you in there? Hey, can you come in for a second? Yeah, can you come in for a second? Can you just keep an eye on them while I bring the tray in? Yeah. Me too. I'm keeping an eye. Me, I like your shoes. Thanks, Bella. I've had them for a while. No! Crazy. 
Barbie doll. They're thinking of a toy. No. No, no, no. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help. Mm -hmm. I'm a toy. Go to the play channel. No. Play channel. Play channel. Bella, Bella, you need to be gentle. Okay. Bella, hey, you're coming with me, girly. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Um, sorry for the, <laughs> sorry for being a little absent. Um, I've got to run May over to school, and I'm going to bring Bella with me so that um, Drew can uh, hang out with puppies in here. <clears throat> um. But I'll be back shortly. We got to do weight checks and their dewormings. Um, we didn't get them done yesterday and we, she's a wild child. That's why she's coming with me. Um, but I wanted to say quickly to um, uh, Bella, be gentle. Bella, be gentle. Um, Everybody has been anxiously waiting to hear um, York's name. If her family hasn't already said it, um, I don't know oh, if her family wants to announce it or if they want to announce or if they want us to announce it. Um, but I saw, I think I saw her, I think I saw her mama on the chat. Um, so if you want to announce it, you can go ahead and announce it if you haven't already. Um, but it's a really cute name. It's it's perfect. You guys are all gonna love it. What you? What are you running off with, Beatrix? No, 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 no. Oh, Beatrix is gonna change the color. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I like that one. Well, there, that one's better. <laughs> are you going to play tug of war with the lights? Huh? I am doing it. We are gonna be late for school, and the school can just log on to YouTube and be like, oh, there's May. Hey Chris, I just saw your message. I'm so glad I'm I am so so glad you're on. Um Chris from Germany. Um we have not sent you an email so you haven't missed anything. Um I haven't had an opportunity to look yet because we've been so busy and we're playing um catch up right now. But um if you sent um, if you sent an email recently on um, on our website using one of the forms um, and indicated what your email was, um, let me know, and that's going to be moved to the priority of our <laughs> to-do list of catching up because we've been trying to get a hold of you for like a month now, and um, there's other people who are not receiving my messages. Um, it seems to be non-iPhone people. I, so I think it's because of the iMessage that iPhone people are able to get my messages. But um, anybody that I have to text, for some reason they are not getting my messages. So, uh, but some people are. Like I have videos going through to other families, so I don't know. But um, in either case, I wanted to let you know you hadn't missed anything from us, but we are, um, we are actively... Okay, you sent it last week. All right. Um, yeah, so that the that's why we haven't gotten it yet because we've been really sick. Uh, and you're one of those Android users. <laughs> that's probably what happened. Um, yeah, I sent you a really um, nice thought. Well, like I spent a lot of time on that message. I'm really disappointed you didn't get it. Um, your your children sound absolutely wonderful, and we would be so excited to. Um, raise your puppy and meet your children and your wife no. and um, we have a litter that'll be ready to go home in in August and so um, if you guys were gonna be in states for a few months it may even be good op opportunity to bring that puppy home and let them transition home um, in the states and then go over to Germany so um, there were different things we kind of wanted to discuss with you but um, we were really eager to talk to you. 
So, um, I don't want your daughter to think that we had forgotten about her or, um, we know I shared with Drew and I even shared with our mods how your, um, daughter, um, watches our, our, our live streams and our, our videos and, um, uh, how much she really wants an, a little ESA puppy and, uh, and, uh, or a psychiatric service dog. So these guys are perfect for that, aren't they? Right? She told, yeah, they are very much, yeah, like Beep. these guys, especially Bye. these little puppies. Are you going to go potty there, Mr. Indy? You look like these guys are potty. Circle. These guys are so well potty trained. I mean, they have accidents, but they know, they know what go potty is. They know what it means for poop and potty. It's universal. And um, if there are pellets available, they will go use them. Um, and so when we send puppies home, we like to offer it Good to families boy, as an idea to boy, have a train boy. indoors in order to prevent accidents inside the house. Mr. Darcy. The reason they have accidents inside the house is because if they have to go, well, where are they going to go? And so if they have somewhere to go, then they'll have their accident right here. And so, um, and also the idea behind the pine pellets too is we're kind of bringing a little bit, bit of the outdoors indoors. And so, um, you know, it's pine. And so um, it's very easy to transition them back outside because it came from outside. So, oh, geez, we got to go. All right. Come on, Bella. You ready? Oh, it's not ready. I use... Can you get that one? I will get that one. I use on take one of these guys. Um, yeah. Which puppy? Which puppy? Ooh. Well, oh, now I have to spell it. Um, oh, I think York's family is on, so let's let York stay. Okay. This one's Oh, I, let me check the chat and see if she announced or if she wants us to announce. Name. Are you guys wrestling Pippi? Pippi, Pippi. Hi. Hi. She wants us to announce it. She wants us to announce it. All right, where's York? Yorkie. Yorkie. York, York. 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 Yorkie, little Miss Yorkie. She's got the perfect name ever. Her name is Emma. Ah. So you got Mr. Darcy. How Emma. perfect is Emma? Emma. 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 Hey. Hi. Hi, Emma. It's the Emma. Emma Dougie. I'm sorry, Dad. Did, did I confuse you with She's the dog? Emma. Ball? What a pretty Emma she is. <laughs> oh, geez, Daisy. Oh, oh Pepe. Oh, Pepe. Oh, the dog. Oh, goodness. You're such a good girl. We love it. We do. Um, well, so I mean, I, shouldn't, I can't speak for everybody, but speaking for myself. Hi, Emma. I um I love the name Emma. I always have. Um, I had a hamster growing up named Emma, and I always planned for my firstborn child to be named Emma. And so, but Emma. I named all my dolls Emma. And so, by the time I had my first daughter over here, um, I was kind of sick of the name Emma. Hey. But now that um, time has passed, I love it. So, I love that name. Who are you guys taking? Um, uh, not Emma because oh, I want her mama to be Indy? able to see her playing. Indy, are you behind me? He's right here. Oh, you, oh. <laughs> um, oh, um, did you want to take Pippi? Well, I would have taken Ella. Oh, I thought that we had to take her in a minute. Okay. Um, Let me check the chat and just make sure his family's not in the chat. Oh, oh I just hear oh, watching us right there. Oh. Coco. Hey, you little pups. Emma. Puppy. Emma. Emma. Emma, come on. Good girl. Yeah, good girl, Pippi. Good girl, purple Pippi. Purple Pippi eater. Stop. <laughs> Pippi, what happened? Emma. 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 Come here, Emma. How does she actually Emma, respond? good girl, Emma. Good girl, Emma. Yes. Yes, good girl, Emma. Good girl, Emma. Yeah. All right, I'm going to run Maya to school. And then um, if you wanted to pull up the live chat, Chris was still talking about. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll get um, my phone and pull it up. Oh, thank you. He said that sounded amazing. Referencing. Okay. Um, 
uh, me talking about. I think, I think talking about um, um, yeah. puppies being born like August in, or being ready to go home August ish, and August. so they could and, um, pick up and then the puppy could adjust about their, yeah, about their, here and then yeah and travel. Man, that would be so awesome to so hear. So probably better to travel when they're older. To hear of one of our dogs going uh, over Bella, here. Bella, you do not run through a room with puppies. Yeah, Come on, let's run. go. Let's. Yeah. That's why you're calling me. Come with me. Anna Bella Rose, love you, sweetie. What? Have a good trip <laughs> there, Bella Bella, with Mama and May. Blech. Swipe. Love you, Bella Bella. <laughs> Beatrix. Beatrix, what are you doing? Beatrix? Oh my goodness, look at you, crazy puppies, crazy puppies. Now, Daisy. Good girl, Daisy. Good girl, Daisy, Daisy. Who's it? Pippi. Pippi. Oh wait, no, that's Jenna. 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 What have you got, Jenna? Jenna, Jenna, Jenna. Bella, you're going with Mom. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, what is this? You guys have all got your your parachutes. Oh, look at you guys. You are so silly. You are so silly. Look at this. Look at what you've done. Look at what you've done. What have you done? Let's go get our toy to play tug of war with, huh? You want to play tug of war? Is that it? In the meantime, oh, you little stinker. You little stinker. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Well, Miss Beatrix. Just a little potty. Right there. Oh, what do you got? Some stuff on your leg. Sorry, sweetie. Let me wipe your leg off. Ah, you don't like that, huh? Say, I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> Daisy. Daisy. Pops. Zoom. Daisy. Daisy. Good boy, Mr. Darcy. Good boy. Good boy, Mr. Darcy. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Come on, guys. Come on, pups. Come here, silly dogs. Come here. Come on. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so these guys are starting to... Uh, they're starting to hit that age where uh, they're wanting to, um, 
or they, they like need their their own family because um, we can we can give them lots of attention and whatnot but uh, it, it's not the same as one puppy being doted on by an entire family instead of one family trying to you know uh, oh goodness Beatrix <laughs> she just went screaming around. I guess you could probably see a little bit. She went screaming around here and went running in the wall. <laughs> Poor thing. Beatrix! Beatrix! You silly thing. What are you doing? You, why are you hurting? Why are you hurting? Huh? Why are you trying to hurt your, your siblings? Oh, goodness. And you are just the adventure seeker, Beatrix. What? Ah, that's a kid toy. <gasps> Arr. Beatrix, Beatrix, Beatrix. Hey, come on. That's a good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. What are you two doing? Uh, oh no! Splat. Okay, let's see. What? Hey, you. Hey, you. Let's see. I think I can get most of it. There we go. Good morning. Good morning. So, good morning, Sue and Linda. Uh, Lisa, good morning. Yowza. What was that? Uh, Diana, good morning. Chris, good morning as well. Let's see here. Hey, you guys. Beth, good morning. And happy puppies indeed. Oh, 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 oh. You okay? Hey, hey, what are you fighting with over there? What are you fighting with over there, Emma? Emma, Emma? Good girl, Emma. Emma. Yes, your name is Emma. Yep, good girl. Emma. Emma. Uh, no teeth, Emma. No teeth. Uh, oh, and Terry Carney is on. Nice. Good morning. Laura W. Good morning. I think I said good morning to you. Like uh, one of the first ones, Is it one of the first ones I saw. Cindy Jacob and Sue. Oh, and that was when you guys were giving me a thumbs up that uh, that everything was good. So thank you so much. Oh, bless you. Oh, bless you. Oh, goodness. Hey. Yes. Oh, and a new. Good morning to a new. Hey. Goodness. Yeah, Chris, so, um, um, yes, I'm, uh, like Elizabeth said, very sorry that we, uh, haven't gotten back to you via email, um, and, and like Elizabeth said, I think that it has something to do with her, her phone, not working. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Mr. Darcy. Mr. Darcy. You need to calm. Yeah. Calm yourself. Good boy. Good boy. And Beatrix. Beatrix. Hey. Come. What is that? What is that help? Hey, help, help. Good job, Pippi. Good girl. Good go potty. Good go potty, Pippi in the tray. Good girl. What a good girl. I, don't, I see you doing that spin. I see you doing that little spin. Yes, little Miss Emma. Little Miss Emma, Emma. You're gonna do something on the phone. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. That was a close one. Let me go get this. Baggy. The The leftover.
guys are getting wild and crazy. Wild and crazy. Yes. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl, Jenna? Ah. So yesterday, um, Indy's family came over, and um, Indy got to meet his his forever home. He got to spend some time with his mama, and it was a it was a really awesome uh, uh, chance to to meet with them. Uh, really enjoyed uh, meeting Indy's family. Um, uh, his his grand his grandparents his his grand puppy parents uh, and they'll be watching him uh, every now and then and then uh, his uncle it was it was really cool so um, they got to come and spend about an hour or so with us um, uh, we 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 stayed outside because the weather was nice and with every like our house kind of being uh, a ground zero for illness right now we just kind of said you know like. I'm so sorry that, uh, that our house is, you know, right now kind of sicky, so, um, but anytime they want to come again and, uh, come and see Indy, they're more than welcome. Hey, what you doing over there? Come here. Beatrix. 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 Hey. Beatrix. Come on. Good girl. That's a good girl. Who's a good girl? Yes. You're a good puppy. You're a good puppy, Jenna. <laughs> Emma. Emma. Who's a good girl? Good girl, Emma. Emma. Yes, what a good girl. Go. Oh, sorry, Beatrix. Oh. Emma, Emma, Emma. Good girl, Emma. Mr. Darcy. Emma. Emma and Darcy. Hmm. Oh, let's see. Now I lost. Uh, let's see, I'm sorry, I'm trying to go through a uh, new Terry Carney, Lord W, it's Grant. Joe! Good morning, Joe! I'm so happy to see you! Uh, I'm glad you went outside and saw my neighbor, her walking her Cavalier dog outside. Oh, that's so cool that your neighbor has a Cavalier. Um, but yeah, happy to, to see you, Joe. Hope you're doing well. You're still sick? Oh. oh I'm so sorry that you're you're sick too. Your nose is all stuffed up. That's the worst. Head colds are like terrible. I hate head colds because it's like you're not down for the count like the flu. Like you can still like get things done, but you don't feel good trying to get things done with a with a head cold. <laughs> That's so funny, Cindy, that uh, your puppies were, were playing like they were, they were, I'm sorry, your dogs were playing as though they were puppies, and the squeals were like, ah, we're playing too rough. Oh no. Oh my. Hey, you two. Hey. Beatrix. Beatrix. Emma. Come here, Emma. Good girl. Hey. Be nice to Emma. Come here, Emma. Pippi. Come here, Emma. It's okay. It's okay, Emma. It's okay. Pippi, don't be a bully. Pippi. How you doing, Jenna? Good girl, Emma. Jenna and Emma. Jenna and Emma. Hi, you too. Still don't have your voice? Ugh, oh, that stinks, Joe. So sorry. <laughs> Louis was zooming away with a toy, and that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, Cindy, love hearing like updates about uh, about other uh, like our puppies from from earlier litter litters. It's so awesome. 
glue doesn't have many teeth, so it's a puzzle. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, did you find cardboard? Did you find the cardboard box? I am. Maybe the girl. Chris, yeah, so yeah, the Beatrix is pretty rambunctious uh, today. She's one of the ones where, despite her size, she's a little firecracker. And then, it's probably, I don't know if you guys can see or not, but right here is uh, Mr. Darcy. He has found a very comfortable spot on the bed, and he is out cold. And then you got the four girls over the, behind you, you all, uh, playing with a cardboard box. <laughs> Hi, Jean. Nice to see you. Oh, goodness. Hi. Yes, I said hello to you, too. Yes, hi. Good girl, Emma. Good girl, Emma. Emma. You're so cute. Where'd you go, Emma? Hey, hi. Good girl. Yes, good girl, Pippi. Good girl, Pippi. Like uh, one of the one of our, our pups from the litter that's gonna be born here in, in June or July, and then uh, ready to go home in August or September will really uh, do well for you guys' family. And it would uh, like I would love to know or just like envision the uh, the adventure that one of our puppies was going on with you guys. Um, are you going potty on that? Or are you just sitting? What are you doing? What are you doing, Emma? Good girl. Oh, you did tinkle a little bit, no, Emma. What are you doing? Luckily, this is waterproof. Ha ha. Good girl, Jenna. Good girl, Jenna. Good girl, Jenna. Good girl, go potty. Good girl, Jenna. Yeah, good girl. Good girl, Jenna. Hi, Beatrix. Hey there, little rambunctious. Hey there, troublemaker. But we, so we, we were like, um, slowly bringing, uh, puppies outside to spend time with, uh, Indy and his family. And so it was like, we would take, uh, Indy was out there, uh, with his family the whole time, you know, for the hour or so that they were here. And then we would cycle like, uh, two or three other puppies at a time to come out and play in the grass. And they just had a ball, uh, running around. Uh, we brought Daisy out, so they were able to kind of like uh, run with her and and play chase. And then uh, once we brought them inside, they were all so tuckered out that uh, they all went and got up on the the bed and the and the pen and like conked out. Beatrix, don't bug him. He's sleeping. He's sleeping right now. Just let him sleep. Why don't you go night night? Why don't you go night night? Huh? How about you go night night? Go night night. Let's see. That's Emma. That's Jenna. So Pippi. Pippi. What are you doing, Pippi? Pippi. Pippi. Come on, Pippi. Good girl. Good girl, Pippi. Good girl. Yeah. Wow. Good girl, Pippi. That's a good girl. Good girl. Yeah, you come into your name. That's a good girl. Good girl. Uh oh. Hey. Hey. Poor Emma, why are you getting picked on, Emma? Oh, 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 oh. Hi there, Pippi Pippi. Pippi Pippi, what a good girl, Pippi Pippi. Are you a good girl? Yes, you are. Yeah, Beth, uh, so the dogs also seem to enjoy uh, cardboard boxes, too. They think that they are uh, a lot of fun to chew, and then uh, they're also a lot of fun to, like, make uh, uh, hideouts in. Beatrix? Beatrix. Beatrix. Hey. Beatrix. Nice.
What did you do, Pippi? Audrey to a grief support group yesterday. People could hold a cute puppy. A woman was crying who had lost her mother and asked to hold Audrey, who licked away all her tears. Oh, Sue, that's so sweet. That is so, that's so incredible. I love it. I'm so happy that Audrey was able to, to help uh, people in the, in the grief group. Jean had the Maltese, you had this <laughs> demolished cardboard. What are you trying to get? What are you trying to get, huh? Arr, Pippi. Huh, Pippi? Arr. Oh, poor Mr. Darcy. He's getting. Everyone's just walking all over him. It's okay, bud. It's okay, Mr. Darcy. Good boy, Mr. Darcy. Oh, you silly girls. Oh, you silly girls. Ah, you silly dogs. You silly dogs. It's funny you mentioned that, uh, Sue. I had recently heard of something called puppy therapy. I had never heard about it, but I guess it's, uh, um, you know, uh, you will sit, you know, in a, a, a pen, an enclosed pen with a, a litter of puppies and then just kind of like spend time with them and play with them because it is really hard to be around a litter of puppies and uh, not be happy. Um, they are just, they're, they, they're so cute and, and, and fun. <laughs> Hi, where are you going? Where are you going, Emma? Where are you going, Emma? What are you doing, Beatrix? What are you doing, Beatrix? What? Hi, Pippi Pippi. What have you got? What are you getting? Are you getting my shirt? Are you getting my shirt, Emma? Where did Jenna go? Jenna! 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 Are you hiding, Jenna? Where did you go? Oh, Jenna. Oh, Jenna, Jenna. There you are, you little stinker. <laughs> Where'd you go, huh? Where did you hide? Hi, right, good girl. Yeah, good girl. Peekaboos. Okay. Now, let's see. We got poor Mr. Darcy who is out cold on the on the bed, and then the girls that are all just having wild adventures. Pippi, Pippi, 
What'd you find, baby? Pippi, 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 Jenna, come here, Jenna, Jenna, come here, Jenna. Come here, sweetie, come here, come here, Jenna, let's go. Hey, Beatrix, 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 yeah, good girl. Oh, splat, Beatrix, no, no. No, no, no. Nope. Go potty there. Go potty there. No. Go potty. Hey. Go potty. Little mess. Oh, splat. You little stinker. I don't know why. Go, 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 not. Ooh. Do you guys hear someone? Who is that? Is that mama? Hey, stop. Come here, Jenna. Oh, Beatrix. Come here, Emma. Emma. Come here, baby. Come on, Emma. Emma, come on. Come on, Emma. Come on. Come on. Emma. <laughs> she just keeps turning her head like this. Emma. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Emma. Yeah, good girl. It's a good girl. Good girl, Emma. Good girl. Good girl. That's a good girl. Good girl, Emma. Emma? Yes. Oh, that's not my show. Good girl. Jenna. Jenna. Come here, Jenna. Good girl, Jenna. That's a good girl. Good girl. Oh, you want to fight with this? You want to fight with this? Good girl. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good girl. I don't know what is so interesting about my 
chin. I'm not sure why you guys like to nibble on it. Good girl. Good girl, Jenna. Good girl, Jenna. Yes. Pippi, you... Man, Pippi, you are just... A ball of lightning. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Leave Jenna alone. Jenna's just fine. You are right up hell. You are right up hell. Yes, you are. Stop trying to pick a fight. Stop trying to pick a fight. Sleep. Everyone's ready to take a nap. You need to chill too. Yeah. 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 If you want to play, I will play. But don't try to make them play. to uh, Pom Pom and Macchiato's litter. Um, now personally, uh, I know that Elizabeth also feels the same way, but I'm just so excited to see um, what uh, Macchiato and, uh, and Pom Pom's offspring will look like, because uh, Pom Pom is a little on the the petite side, she, since her first pregnancy, uh, and her first whelping, um, she's kind of filled out, um, her shoulders are a little bit more, um, broad, like, I, I just think that she, um, all the, the, the hormones and whatnot, uh, from the pregnancy, uh, helped her mature, um, in a, a way that her, her hormones had not yet. Uh, she, I think that she's really pretty. She's like, I don't know, she's, all of her proportions are uh, like perfect. Uh, they're just in a smaller package. And then you got Macchiato, who he's the same way, where his proportions are, are awesome, 
and he's a larger package. Uh, so I, I'm just, I am pumped to see what, uh, what their offspring will look like. And they're both just, uh, they, they adore people. Uh, Macchiato, whenever uh, new people come around, he's always very interested in them. He's not like, um, he's not crazy. Um, they both listen really well. Um, uh, yesterday when um, Indy's family was visiting, we brought Pom Pom out and she just came over, like <laughs> introduced herself to each one of the family members and, and got pets from them. And then she came and uh, sat down next to, uh, next to me on the, uh, on the stairs. Like she just stood and just sat there uh, not like, um, you know, acting crazy trying to get, uh, pets or anything like that. She was just very respectful, almost like she was listening to the conversation. Um, oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. goes through the grocery bags and pulls out stuff. Usually it's her stuff like toys and <laughs> so smart. That's funny, Beth. Oh, Sue, that's so awesome. Laura, oh, that's so sweet. I, I love the, uh, you know, uh, the origin of Emma's name now. That's, that makes it even more special. So that's, that is fantastic. And you're right, just two more weeks. Just two more weeks. Emma is the one that's conked out right here. Um, she's laying head to head with Jenna. And then this pup over here, that's the, the Mr. Darcy. And you are still just the rambunctious Pippi. Yes, yes, Pippi. You are the rambunctious, the rambunctious one. Here, Beatrix, I'm gonna stick you over here. Get the girl. Good girl. You, you are the rambunctious one. Hi, what are you doing? Where, where did you get all this energy from, huh? Where did all this energy come from? Thank you, bye. Oh, those cutie eyes. You're gonna make your family so happy. Now you're gonna come up here and, and claim this spot for nap time, huh? Is this the nap time spot? What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing, the Pippi? Hi, Pippi, Pippi. Who's a good girl? Yes, you are a good girl. Here, where'd the, where'd the rope go? Oh, you dragged it over here. Pippi long stocking. Pippi long stocking.
Fun. Did you fall out? Mr. Dorsey, did you fall out? Okay. Remy.
bottlers, towel bottles, here's little bottle bottlers. Eat the food, looks like. Eat a little bit of food. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Have some breakfast. Or brunch. Having some brunch. Uh, Beth, uh, you asked um, what are the ages of all the dogs. Do you mean all of our dogs or these guys? I mean, you know, you know that these guys are, are uh, six weeks old. So all, all of our dogs are, are anywhere between. I mean, we've got um, Rio and uh, Vienna, who they were born uh, on uh, New Year's. So uh, they're only... No, no, no. Go potty. Go potty. Go potty. Go potty. Emma, go potty. Um, Emma. Emma. I'm watching you. I got my eye on you. Yeah, I'm watching you, Emma. Little Miss Emma, yeah, I'm watching you. Little sneaker, little sneaker, do. Uh, so, um, yeah, they're only, they are five and a half months old, um, and then our oldest would be. Uh, Missy, who, um, is she like five years old now? Yeah, she's like five. Oh, excuse me. Um, four, five. Gosh, I can't, I can't keep them straight. We have, we have uh, we have ten dogs, um, in total with the possibility of uh, another oh, looks like everything looks like they're home. Looks like they're home. Hi. Oh whoa 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 Oh goodness. Oh jeez. Bad morning already. This, 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 McDonald's was the wrong place to go. Oh my gosh. Um, and then, of course, they didn't get the order right. And then, because I had Indy in the car, we can't bring him into a food establishment. Right. Um, and so we couldn't go in. So I was trying to figure out how to fix the, the order. Finally, ran back through the right. drive through and I could tell the cashier, or the lead, the other cashier was really unhappy with me because I was not shy about all of the problems we have had with them because they are so inept. Yeah, they're, they are the worst. I was trying to list all of these problems that have all happened very recently. She just started, she started talking over me. And just, um, uh, like, ignore it. And I was just like, Oh my god, I would never treat a customer like this. Is she like a high school? She's a little older than that. What did they fix the order? Yeah, they fixed it. Good morning, everyone.
everybody. Sorry, it has, it's been kind of, I've had a rough morning. <laughs> I wanted to go pick up cinnamon rolls. Um, and that did not quite go as I had hoped. Uh, they were out of the cinnamon rolls, which was fine, but the interaction with the staff is what <laughs> kind of killed it. And me and Mom got the super dog. And Bella got the toy she's been wanting. Yes, the super dog. Did you show super Daddy? That super dog. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, Bella Schnella. Dad. Oh, Chanel, here's your, here's your, See the puppy laying yeah. in the bed. You like so they did Drew make sure you guys saw yeah, this? I, did I you kept... bring the camera I over? I didn't bring a camera oh, over no. because oh, I, thought no. was, I thought it was hilarious how Okay, it, you guys have to see this. Yeah, um is that Jenna's not the first one to to do that. Um first it was uh Mr. Darcy and then uh it was uh Beatrix. Like, they've all kind of been... <laughs> and, like, if you just look across the top of the bed, you wouldn't even see her. <laughs> see? You wouldn't even see her. You have to really look around. Oh. So this is the bed that I got for May in Paris to use to put onto May's bed. I was looking for something that would be, like... Like, comfortable for May to, like, have her legs leaning up against, you know? And Paris loves this bed, and so I thought it would be a good bed for the dogs. And the puppies love it, too. Yay! Good boy, Indy. Good boy. What a good boy you are. Hey, you, too, Pippi. Hey, hey, good boy, Oh, Indy. Mr. Darcy, that wasn't nice. Hey, yeah, that's the hard part of having this, they're... trying to keep everybody off of the others that are sleeping. Thank you. Good boy, Indy. Good boy, Indy. Indy. They can sleep in the play area. Emma, Emma, they can Emma. Sleep in the play area, right here. This is the play area. What they should do. No. Is move the, I'm gonna move the tray. I was gonna move the just move the camera Can around to change the view. Ah. Because like once you've seen it from a certain direction so many times. It's a little boring. Yeah. Oh, God, 
Do you want to unplug Good and boy, move? Mr. Darcy. Good boy, Mr. Darcy. This that's so crazy that they like you Dad, you Dad, guys Dad, come Dad, home Dad. and now they are all going into the tray. Dad, did I miss school? No, you have not missed school yet, uh, Valley. You could, oh man, the bus comes in ten minutes, girl. We gotta just go over your hair. Dad, Dad me and mom went to McDonald's. I know you went to McDonald's. Hey, why don't you eat? Yeah, it's McDonald's. a good thing we did. No, don't eat that. Dad, they, they are all out of... Oh, Dad. Mrs. Schultz said that she was watching Indy last night. And Dad, um, and she was like, I don't know what I'm going to do when they school went, is ah. out and you guys don't visit me. Dad, did, you, did you just drop out of your mouth? No. Oh, did she eat a fry? Yeah. Oh. I, I was and I was like, well, we've got you covered because Dad, they, every they morning, are all out of Dad. We they're all out of pancakes. Play with them Dad, <laughs> they're all out of pancakes. And she, um, Dad, and she was like, all 9 o'clock every day. Oh. Dad, can I tell you something? Every, every day, really? That's awesome. So Mrs. Yeah. Schultz will be... Dad, yeah, yes, baby, I heard they're all really, out of pancakes. That's a bummer. She was watching our streams. <laughs> I can't see the line. More, uh, more oh. folks hooked. Bella, baby, you gotta eat fast because uh, the bus is gonna be here soon. Please. Yep, the bus is gonna be here soon, sweetie. Oh, Mr. Darcy. Daisy Mr. Darcy is begging. Mr. Darcy. No. Here, Bella, come sit over oh, here. Very nice. and sit your lunch. That was not nice at all. Because can, the bus is gonna be coming very soon. You, very soon. You don't even have ten minutes. Can you get my iPad? No, because no. it's going to make you take longer. Come on. Stand up, sweetie. Aw, I didn't realize you put your Minnie Mouse socks on to wear your Minnie Mouse and Daisy outfit. No. I can connect. They can connect. Here, sweetie. Come on, hey. Dad, he can rock. <laughs> yeah, I know. They can rock. They can rock and roll. Here. And then, Dad. All right, hey, wait. And then, tail can. Big bite. Big bite. No, big bite. I does feel like wagon. Oh, it does? Oh, it does wag when, when it rocks back and forth. That's cool. Puppy dogs. Puppy, puppy, puppy dogs. Oh, poor Jenna, Jenna. Got picked on. Beatrix. Uh, Beatrix. No, no, Bella. Do not tease the dogs with french fries. Go back over and take a sip of Sprite, too, sweetie. Leave me alone. I'm napping. I'm napping, Darcy. Mr. Darcy, you need to stop. This one's wearing my shoes. <laughs> Come back in here, sweetheart. I know you need to go potty, so go poop in here. Come on. Come on, Emma. <laughs> Good boy, Andy. You should tell him. So quit it. Bella, stop. Hey. Go back over there. Eat the chicken nuggets, sweetie. Good girl, Emma. Good girl, go potty. Good girl, Emma. Good girl, Emma. What a good girl, go potty. That's a good girl. Good girl, Emma, Emma. Hey, Andy. Hey, Andy. Good boy, Andy. You're such a good boy, Andy, Andy. Bella, hey, go back over there. What are you looking for, sweetie? Huh? Oh, uh, did you grab a uh, brush, Bella? Yeah. Uh, take another bite. 
Well, that's it. That's all the tangles. I'm really proud of you. Oh, noisy puppies. Daisy. Bring this bed closer to the camera. So that you guys can appreciate what's going on in here. Hush. Daisy, not Daisy.
Oh, jeez, where's right here? Should I need our food? Is it right here? Um, is, it, is the one with your straw in it? That's one. That's one you're bringing on. Thank you for getting coffee. Good morning, everybody. I know Drew's had a chance to say good morning, but I haven't. Um, hi, puppies. Uh, ah! We took Indy to school this morning, and it was a lot of fun. Oh, look. You're barely missing it. Let me... Um, Sweet baby is there. Oh darn it. I'm gonna have to have it up for talking. I'll just back the bed up a little bit. Puppy doodles. Daisy, get down from there.
trip. <laughs> Mr. Darcy wasn't letting me go through. Casey. I'm with your back. She almost got here. Off the table here? Yeah, right at the end. Um, Lisa, if you are on, Lisa Crane, um, I just want to let you know that I had every intention on calling you on FaceTime on the way back from taking May to school, but um, I had Bella with me and it was just kind of uh, chaotic, so um, I had every, I was going to call you and I was even excited to surprise you with a call, but um, of course it was not meant to be. So, I'll be calling you soon, I'm sure. Um, there was stuff I wanted to talk about. Indy's family came over, and... Not only are they absolutely amazing, incredible people, but Indy just loved them to pieces, and he loved his mom. it just went really, really, really well. He was, he was um, a little uh, over, uh, overstimulated at first, but then he warmed up to his mama very quickly. And then he got down on the ground and he was playing and running around. There was a period of time that the live stream only had a couple of puppies on it and that's because we had the four of them. We had Indy. Indy! Come back! Indy! We had Indy outside with a few litter mates to help him feel more comfortable. And it was a lot of fun. It was so... Oh, I wanted to start the live um, outside today. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, yeah. Um, all right. Well, so I'll plan to do that tomorrow since today it wouldn't have worked anyway. Um, <clears throat> I didn't sleep well last night, and so I didn't even wake up until much later than usual. So we'll do that tomorrow. We'll start the live outside tomorrow. Um, take these guys outside. It's so nice out, and the, there's no breeze. Like not, it's usually crazy windy outside and um, we can't even hear each other speak, but um, the weather's really nice and the puppies love it. And there's so many different things we can do and go explore. Jenna! What are you doing, Sylvia? What are you doing, Sylvia? Did you get a nice nap? Huh? Hi, Andy. Oh, where did the food go? I put Bella's food in the uh, fridge. I'm just gonna grab no, my their phone. food. Their food? Oh, I put it. Oh, it's up there. there. Oh. Give me my phone. I'm gonna open the live chat. Oh, there it is. Oh, I had it open. Oh. Hey, Andy. Hold on, bud. <coughs> you know, now that I'm looking at it. Indy looks more like a caramel macchiato than uh, than our black and yeah. tan, black and tan pup. I just always thought of black and tan because I when I, I think of coffee when or I think black. Black, and coffee. right? There's Bella in the car. Turn this so you guys can see how sweet Beatrix is. Come on, Daisy. I'm coming with the pool. I'm gonna splash. Hush. Oh no. Hi, Mike. 
not him. Your dad's shirt size. Did you want to send him the shirt that you designed? Yeah. Yeah. Why, hello, Jenna, 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 girl. Jenna, 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 girl. Aw, did you see Daisy curl up? <laughs> this is a great bed for, like, a mom and her puppies because, um... It's like one of those mattresses. Did you ever see those commercials where they have the glass of wine on one side and then they have some pretty lady jumping on the other side and the glass of wine doesn't even shake? Um, that's how his bed is. Like, he's they're all cozy over here and they don't even know it, who's over here moving or whatever. It doesn't even disrupt them over here. Hi, Mr. Darcy. Because dogs have a different concept of love. They don't really, I wouldn't call it love. They, they have this sort of attachment. It's just so fascinating to watch because it's not love. And so, um, but they feel this obligation to just take care of them and see to their every need. It just always fascinates me, all these things that they supposedly, you know, that dogs can't feel or, like they say jealousy, that dogs can't feel jealous, but I don't know about that one. <laughs> for all the dogs we have and all the, we have very, we have a lot of opportunities for jealousy and I feel like it's a pretty good, uh, and it's a good opportunity to have um, like sort of experiments and if I was the judge, I would say that jealousy is a very real thing, as is thorniness. Our stud dogs get very thorny when our moms are in heat. And they very much do enjoy doing what they do. They're, when they say, people say that dogs don't do it for fun. Um, <laughs> If they were not doing it for fun when the female's in heat, then they would stop doing it after they did it the first time. <laughs> they wouldn't keep doing it. Because our, our boys love it. Um, there's just a lot of interesting things that uh, you hear about, and like, um, like about how, um, uh, how dogs are and what their mindset is like that is just kind of becomes accepted knowledge or belief or accepted common belief or knowledge because um, not a lot of people see um, big groups of dogs living amongst each other and um, having the opportunity to go through those different emotions and and so I think it might be more a matter of um, study limitations than that dogs just don't feel certain emotions. Because I don't know how many study opportunities there are to say that a dog um, does not do the deed because they enjoy it. 
because a good example is we made it spike to Missy and he did his thing, all was well, they had their puppies. When Robin came of age, <laughs> and so she's been having her heat cycles, so like just to set some scene, she's been having her heat cycles and we've been telling him, Spike, no, Spike, no, Spike, no, can't touch, hands off. Yeah. And and so he understood and he was really, I'm sorry, she was you. Um, and he was very well behaved and um, he listened to us and as soon as Robin became of age and she was in heat wow. and we were no longer being gatekeepers, you know, we didn't, he kind of knew that she was off limits, but he started noticing that we weren't stopping him. And so there was one day I remember very distinctly over here in the dining room, Drew and I were standing kind of between the dining room and the kitchen and Spike was there and Robin walked through and she turned, he did a double take and then like, turned his head 180 degrees so that he could watch her and <laughs> Drew started like narrating the moment <laughs> because he was looking at her as though she was like hey, a hey, spread yeah. from a magazine hey, <laughs> that just doing? walked through. Yeah. How you doing baby? <laughs> um, and so then when they mated huh. he became even more obsessed. He was like, like we thought he liked Missy <laughs> but he is like in love with Robin. He's infatuated with Robin. Yeah. I wonder if the SEX is that much different between uh, talks. Like, because he really was like. Drool after they like, made it, he was drooling. He was drooling over her after they made it. Like even more, he wanted to be around her, or he wanted to be around her even more after they had made it and whatnot. Hey, hey, Indy. Hey, handsome. Oh, good boy. Oh, big boy. All right, live chat, live chat, live chat. Mods, never be afraid to um, give me a kick in the pants and send me a message that says, don't forget to open the live chat. Hey, Cindy. I went through and, and said good morning to everybody. Um, well, I'm, I just wanted to read what yeah. they were saying. <clears throat> Cindy seconds the sentiment about jealousy. Um, and Cindy, you actually bring up a good point. She says, um, especially when a human mom is paying attention to a new puppy in the family. Because even in our doggy books, our, our doggy breeding books, it, they say... Um, to be careful when you're paying attention to the litter, especially if you have a puppy that um, needs extra help, because if you are really close, if if the mom is a pet, you know you're not backyard breeder or a puppy mill or anything, but if you're if the mom is close to you, they may start fearing that um, your attention is going to the puppies, and so as a result, as a consequence of that they'll start to, they'll have less desire to take care of their puppies um, because they want to get their attention back from, back from you. Yeah. Um, and so it's just interesting you bring that up because um, most, I don't want to, I don't want to lump everyone in a big blame. I should put this disclaimer too. Um, I never mean anything at all black or white and ge like general terms like that. Whenever I say something like always, I usually really just mean most of the time Oh, I'm just trying to emphasize that, but um, I know I firmly believe oh, that um, there is no never and um, there's never an exception. Uh, there's never not an exception. Um, so anyway, oh man, the image is so bad. Seriously? Aw, Nisho. <laughs> I'm glad you like your bed. Um, oh, Chris, um, don't worry about the messages. I still have them. I can just copy and paste. And so, um, it's really, so right now it's really difficult to do a call, the kind of call that we would want to do, um, because, um, with, between the kids and the puppies, 
and um, the Ted dogs of our own. Um, when we can probably do a call like, um, cause I'm thinking like an hour long call, like a call where we can really talk to you about your situation and what you're looking for. Um, we could probably like schedule a good call like that. Um, um, when these guys go home at the end of May. Uh, but, um, otherwise, I mean, we can, I'm trying to think of, we could, Daisy is using Pippi as a pillow. <laughs> oh, Jenna, don't ruin it. Daisy is using Pippi as a pillow. Um, Chris asked if it would be easier to schedule a call, and I was saying, um, maybe when, um, once these guys go home. Yeah. Because we also, not only do we have these guys and, um, Oops, and then our own dogs and then our kids, but we also have their FaceTime calls that we're doing each week. It feels like every day we're just trying to keep our head above water. Um, but we could do a really a more thorough, a really thorough call with you um, after they go home and we're not so um, busy with, with current uh, puppies and families. Um, whoa! Jenna has been. You are, man. <laughs> she was. So oh, she, when, Beatrix just fell out. <laughs> well, while she was napping, Mr. Darcy kept going and like bugging her while she was napping, and she was like not having it. She was very upset about it. But Chris, tell your daughter that we said hello, or tell all your daughters that we say hello. Um, I told Drew all, I read your message to Drew, and um, so he's familiar with your situation, and Indeed. your daughter sounds um, absolutely precious. We are super excited to meet her. We really hope we get to. Um, she sounds like she is, she reminds me of how May was, our 13-year-old when um may was getting paris and we didn't even really plan to get paris for that purpose yet because we didn't we didn't know who she would bond to really and so it just kind of came about and your daughter um she's been doing all this research on cavaliers right. and um she would very much enjoy if she enjoys researching the cavaliers and the breed and getting like learning about them then i think that she would be she would really really in, enjoy and um it would be very good for her to have the sort of like routine and the the um structure of training a puppy because the puppies they need structure and they need routine um and they are 100 percent dependent if their food bowl gets empty it's that they can't refill it and um and i know i know it's really good for our kids to have those responsibilities added but to them it's not very obvious I mean, it's not like an obvious chore when it's their puppy that they're taking care of um but then they also learn too that um hey when you're sick <laughs> you still gotta feed your dog um sometimes other other beings you have to put them before yourself um and so that's another lesson that our kids have learned and um i'm just really excited for you guys i i hope that it's able to work out um i don't want to say her name on on youtube but um tell her i said hello and that um i've been thinking of her and i've been picturing her picturing her on her her computer, her tablet, um, researching, researching Cavaliers. Um, they are, we, uh, gave, we, we had a Cavalier named Nemo, a puppy named Nemo. He had, um, a thing called lobster claw. I don't know if you've heard of lobster claw deformity, but it's, um, the real name is, uh, called ectrodactyly. And it's when, um, your, the, their arms basically, their hands don't form, and you kind of just have two fingers, and it kind of looks like a claw. Um, 
and we donated him to a family whose son um, struggled with um, ADHD and I think he was he might be on the autism spectrum but um, I know that he has been extremely helpful for him just by um, having the because he has it's up to him to maintain the routine that Nemo needs because Nemo especially with his little disability he really needs the routine he needs to know he needs to be able to know when he's gonna be able to go out to potty or when he's gonna get different things and um, it really helps their training and um, their motivation when when they have a, a solid routine that they that they can expect and then they can follow Hi. I forgot about that. Oh, so Chris says, um, our daughter watches daily. She just doesn't have her own account, so it doesn't show her in the chat. I will tell all the kids hi. They will be so excited. This sounds awesome. She has done so much research, and she's very excited. Huh. She was jumping up and down when you said hi in the chat oh, before. Oh, that's so Aww. fun. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. Hello to Chris and his family and his daughters. <laughs> yeah, they, they sound so wonderful. They, they sound very sweet. They have all, they've been through a lot, yeah. and so we just really... We look forward we to... really. Yeah, we are really eager to raise a puppy for you guys because if any family deserves it, you guys do. So, um, we really want to, we're really, we're, that's why we wanted to work out this communication issue yeah. because we did not want, um, you guys were not letting the, um, international borders get in the way. And so we did not want, um, email to get in the way or <laughs> texting or, yeah, text, yeah. the, um, Technology. cellular carrier. I'm just going to adjust the camera because it's bothering me. Did it, has it cleared up? Oh yeah, it has. Oh, I said, uh, I love Nemo's story. The boy sounds a lot like our daughter. She is uh, very structured and very responsible. Thank you guys so much. Daisy, you're so darn cute.
Oh, and Chris, how much fun would it be? You guys are all the way in Germany. How much fun would it be for your daughter to be able to pick out a puppy and then watch the puppy like over like over the pond, watch her puppy every day anytime she wants to um, check in. That just that's just so cool to me. I, I wish I had that. <laughs> when, Getting to, you know, for us, on our side of things, like, whatever puppy comes along that they pick out, just, like, imagining all of the adventures it's going to have. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. like, once, like once, they, uh, once they pick up their puppy and it gets to acclimate with them here in the States, and then they get, they get to have this big adventure across the ocean and go over to Germany, so... I just thought that was mm, well. So in cool. yeah. Oh my eyes. I just think it's a really awesome opportunity to like because that's going to be such a big adventure. Um, Chris and his daughters are going to be able to like see you know from birth i hope we can do the birth uh, yeah, when so. um because we're just kind of live all the time and um you know lately when our moms are going into labor we're just updating the live stream i would like to start um a live stream um on the mom who's in labor but probably this time around we'll do it a little more obscure we won't have um any lights on like any extra lights on um oh, yeah. because we're starting to think that maybe um having the camera right having the camera is or having the lights yeah. is sort of like stalling your labors a little bit and so <clears throat> that's kind of what we were thinking and so like, if you guys got a puppy from Pom Pom's litter, and she's going to have Blenheims and Black and Tans, um, you guys would hopefully be able to then see the delivery of your puppy on, um, and it's not, it's not graphic or anything, um, we're not showing the, sorry, I just got to have this straight. We're not showing the graphic bits, just, um. It's more of an, an outer, wider view. And uh, and then we just keep the live on them um, really until until they go home. Um, but um, if you haven't noticed, if you haven't seen already, we do all of their care on the, we try to do all of their care on the live stream. We want, um, <clears throat> we want our puppies' families to see, to see, their care. Um, a lot of breeders, especially during COVID, got really comfortable not having families in their homes. And with all the COVID restrictions being lifted, um, it seems that breeders aren't going back to what they did do. And um, I don't want to poo poo on other breeders too much, but um, we feel that it's just a really important part of, um, it's not necessary. I mean, people adopt older dogs all the time and have fantastic relationships with them. Um, but Cavaliers have this little special thing about their personality. They're just, there's just a soup, little extra oomph to their affection and their loving nature. And so those characteristics, as soon as they're born, um, you know, the first few days we're hands off, but, um, we nurture, <clears throat> we want to nurture those traits and encourage them to come out more. And, um, you know, when they're thirsting for love and affection, we want to provide it so that then they're coming back for more. If we don't provide it, then it's going to be stifling that urge. Um, they're going to be less inclined to be looking for it if they don't get it. Um, but if they learn that they are going to get it, they're going to be looking for it more. And so, um, 
it's part of what is a, a big misunderstanding about responsible breeders. Um, the um, I'm just going to lump a category of people into um, as um, anti-breeders, but um, for whatever reason, the these anti anyone who's anti-breeders, they um, don't seem to understand that um, getting a puppy from a responsible breeder is actually what helps put puppy mills out of business and um, the puppies in pet stores out of business um, because it's the breeders, you know, like I just mentioned, we are nurturing these traits that are specific to Cavaliers. Puppy mills aren't nurturing any traits. They're just mating the dogs and letting them produce the breed. Um, and, and so that's why, um, I shouldn't say that's why, but in a lot of dogs or in, um, in some dogs, they won't, um, like, I can't quite find the right words. Um, let me, let me try this another way. Um, puppies are going to enter the world, you know, in 25 years, there's still going to be dogs. We want there to be dogs. We, we want our children to be able to have family pets. And if we only, if people only get from rescues or shelters, that's going to feed the puppy mill. Um, that's going to be drawing more dogs from puppy mills. Um, if you get your dog from a breeder, um, the breeder is ensuring that all the traits that are unique to this breed are staying with this breed. Whereas a puppy mill dog, um, they are genetically the, the breed and you are, you'll probably get a lot of the characteristics of the breed naturally. Um, but they're not going to be as honed in and as, um, as great of quality, I guess, um, if it had been nurtured and really, um, kind of developed to its at the fullest. Yeah, uh, at the beginning. Um, and so, that's just, I kind of like to, once in a while, talk about how it, it is a kind of a difficult like it's not really a leap but it's a difficult jump for some people to see that supporting breeders helps the overpopulation of dogs um because we have um we have a um a spay contract a spay neuter contract all of our um pets are sold as pets only um we will sell our puppies for breeders um but we don't we don't sell them to families who are just looking to mate their dog at home. We will um, sell breeding rights for somebody who is an established breeder who is just looking to add a female or is looking to add a male, um, and they, for whatever reason, want a red barn cavalier dog. Um, so, as far as that goes, our our dogs are all sold as pet only. So. Um, we're raising them for the purpose of being ESA dogs or some form of therapy dog. Um, even if it's just a companion animal and, um, but none of them should be, um, adding to the dog population. And, and that's the other thing is that, um, if we only support, because Drew and I are avid supporters of, rescues and shelters we we pick up stray dogs and take them back to their homes we um we never want a dog to be homeless <clears throat> that's partly why one of the reasons why in our contract we um make sure that families know that we will always take our dogs back for their entire lifetime they can be 12 years old if something happens and you have to relinquish them um no questions asked we'll take them back um we don't want them to be on a shelter floor uh, we don't want you to have to be the person to drop them off somewhere um, because we know um, the families that we select for our puppies, we know that if any of them were to relinquish their dog, 
we feel comfortable that we have selected families that would not be do, taking that lightly at all. And so um, any of them to come to us and say, I've got the situation, um, it really is a no questions asked situation because we, um, we don't want, we don't, we, if our, if the dog gets rehomed, we don't want it to be the shelter just choosing, you know, we would probably, if, depending on the dog's age, we'd probably just keep them. Um, but, um, we would be able to find a really fantastic family for an adult cavalier. I'm sure through our um, Red Barn Army. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's my spiel about um, rescues and shelters and puppy mills and well, responsible and, breeding. Yeah, it's just make sure you get from a responsible breeder because um, getting from a backyard breeder, even because backyard breeders will try to pose as responsible breeders <clears throat> and they'll use papers. My, pa my puppies are papered because the thing about that is that um, back in the 1990s and 2000s, all the puppy mill dogs that were at, um, at Petland, yeah. um, all, all of those dogs, they were all papered. And um, so all those paper dogs are now in the gene pool. Um, and papers, therefore, um, they serve as a data point if your breeder is using it as proof of anything then that's a big red flag we use it we explain it to our families as being like a birth certificate because it has their whelp date has their mom their dad their breed their color um and it's it's got a seal on it and it's a really nice certificate and, and, it's, got um, the, and it's got their lineage it's got and, well yeah. we also provide a pedigree yeah. and so um but you get the get the pedigree whether you register them or not um and so it's just a data point and we paper our puppies and here's a good example so missy her puppies we are unable to paper her um missy is not papered she is an akc dog she is full akc she has great lines um but her breeder for whatever reason did um, not paper her her mother's breeder yeah, her yeah, her mother's breeder. Yeah. Um, for whatever reason, did not um, paper the puppies before we picked them up, and we didn't receive the papers, and so from then on, we've been unable to paper her puppies. But we were this close to being able to paper her, paper her and her puppies, and um, her health is just the same, and we raised the puppies just the same. We raised them alongside Daisy's puppies. And so, um, that's why papers don't, they don't speak to how the puppies are being raised or the environment they're being raised in. Um, we, we used to, um, price our puppies based on, um, kind of like their lines. Um, and Missy, we gave a discount on because of the lack of papers. And then over time we realized that, um, because all of our puppies are, are one price. And then Missy's litter, her puppies were 500 less. And then Daisy's litters, um, her puppies are $500 more. And um, we decided just recently with this next litter of Missy's and then going forward with Daisy's, um, even though Missy doesn't have her papers and just because Daisy's grandpa or something um want a blue ribbon, wanna, yeah. Yeah, ribbon and some competition um all of our dogs they're none of those things are gonna make a difference like like they cost us a little bit more and i think that was our original thinking was that daisy was more expensive um than robin for example um i don't know why because robin has probably got better jeans robin i think has better jeans than um, daisy. but we finally decided to just meet in the middle where all of our puppies are priced at um, because Missy's puppies are raised just the same. We put the same amount of work into Missy's puppies. And so um, we kind of felt like uh, to discount by that much um, over the papers when we put in so, so much work for raising them. And then on the other hand, with Daisy's puppies, it felt a little unfair 
to be charging families um, more when, um, again, we're still putting in the same know. amount of work and so on and so forth. And so um, going forward, all of our puppies are going to be the same price, which um, is 2500 That's just and everybody's always wondering, so there's the price that's out there now. Um, but they're 2500 um, The average price for a Cavalier puppy, a healthy Cavalier puppy from a reputable breeder, from a reputable breeder who is not trying to strong arm you and to overpay, um, is going to be about between 1500 and 4000 Um Anything more than four thousand, they're trying. To, I think that it's you can find a just as good a quality puppy for, for cheaper. Um, paying more than that, there's just there's no yeah, reason to. Not really getting even money. really at thirty five hundred, unless you really love that puppy. Um, as far as the outrageous prices, um, we have seen them all the way up to nine thousand dollars. Families have come in and. Um, one family came in and told us that there was a puppy for 8800 for sale at, at a pet Petco, store. Yeah, Petco or whatever. Pet, or, yeah. I don't think Petco allows. Um, well, whatever the pet yeah. store was, it was, yeah, was $8,800. <clears throat> um, and then we even see on, there is a popular, um, well-reviewed, a dog listing website that I don't want to name um, because it is in good standing. Um, but some of the prices that are put for puppies, there's really no explanation for it. There will be one litter and same mom, same dad. And puppies were all tricolors and I think it was like half boys and half girls. And the first puppy was thirty four ninety five, and then the next puppy was thirty seven ninety five, mm -hmm. and then the next puppy was thirty two ninety five, and then the next puppy was forty one ninety five, and it was just like, where do you get these numbers? And all I could think of was that they were just kind of basing it off of their cuteness, because the one who was less expensive um, had a little things different with his markings. Um, but this particular website that they were being listed on is not a website that you're usually you're selling like show dogs for so um you know that didn't really make sense either and so um i'm not trying to poo poo other breeders i'm just trying to mention the, like these are sort of shady if you see things like this that's somebody who is trying to like milk every cent and that's what that is is they probably like where's jenna here's, here's <laughs> jenna she's being so cute um, I find her so stinking cute. And so it would be like if I were to say, okay, all these puppies are 2,500, but Jenna's really cute. And we're like Snowflake. Everybody wanted Snowflake. Snowflake is really cute. So we're going to charge an extra thousand for her. And so that's basically what that is. And, um, so just watch out for that too. Oh um, God, Daisy. But our puppies will always be the same price. Another practice you'll see is premiums on females, um, We've never believed in that. We, even when we didn't believe in it, we did it with our first litter just because we thought that that's kind of like how you were supposed to do it. Yeah, it was so, so. And we felt terrible. Place. We only charged like a little bit extra. We didn't charge the, they usually charge a $500 premium. And when, if the puppy is $2,000, another $500, that can, you know, make or break it. But, um, we, we do not, um, there's, there, the argument no. can be made for supply mm. and demand that more people want girl puppies, and so that's why they charge the premium. However, it is not possible to meet the demand um, with Cavalier puppies, and so increased charging that premium doesn't do any filtering that helps you meet that demand, and so it's a moot point. There's no way that you're going to have the supply to meet that demand. And so, and that's the whole point of charging more prices so that you can kind of, um, dilute, you can dilute that pool a little bit and filter them to some of the other ones that aren't selling. And, but no matter what you run out of puppies. And so, um, 
there really isn't, there's no reason to charge that premium other than for a breeder to just get more money. Um, and again, we raise the girls and the boys just the same. Um, we're not doing anything extra special with the girls that we feel you guys need to pay for. And the boys are loved and wanted just as much as the girls are there. I mean, the girls are definitely, um, more frequently asked for. Um, but there's still plenty of people who want the boys that it doesn't make, um, it doesn't make a premium necessary. So, um, that's always felt kind of predatory to me. Um, do you want to do the, uh, the weights and the yeah, I do want to do that. Nah, <clears throat> Daisy. <coughs> Oh, I forgot I had the live chat on. Dang it. Okie dokie. Let's see here. Who do you want to do first? Indy? Indy, Indy? Oh, dang. GMP says 2500 Oh, that's amazing. I got mine at a pet land, not planned, for 4500 after a $500 discount for being 12 weeks old. Oh, my God. And she's got luxated patellas. Oh. oh. I'm so sorry to hear that. Terrible. Well, hello. How are you? Don't you poop in the pillow, are you? Hi. How are you there, Emma? Emma, you're so sweet. Oh, Chris says, um, uh, that would be absolutely amazing for her. We'd very much keep you updated with all the adventures. Our daughter's at sports right now, but I will be sure to show her this later. She'll be over the moon. She's kept us updated on all you do. She was even watching the New Year's Eve birth live. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, your poor daughter. She's probably, I hope she wasn't scared and traumatized yeah. by the... By that New Year's birth. Um, hopefully I, I kept everything updated enough that she was able to... Hi, you. Oh, um, we're just going to write these down to calculate the deworming doses. Yeah. Hi, sweetheart. Oh. Bowie, was that you? Um, you too? I'm actually gonna bring this a little bit closer because. Hey, Mr. Mister, hey, Mr. Mister, Mr. Indy, you look so regal. Yes, you do, Mr. Indy. Yes, you do. Oh, oh she be head. Is this a new one? That's a brand new one. Okay, thank you. Here we go. In we go. Into the tube. Bloop. Oh boy. Ready? Two pounds, 15 ounces. Mr. Indy, you are so big. Did you just piddle? You did just piddle, but she piddled on, on the on the water pipe yeah. thing. Yay, it finally came in handy. Uh, someone else did too, and I remember like doing a ha ha. <laughs> I'm kind of okay with them yeah, piddling if this. it's on the thing that I just, that I just bought. <laughs> oh, you're such a good boy. Yes, you are. Would you like some dewormer? I'm sure we could give you some dewormer. You'll get the other stuff though. You're not going to waste the little ones. Good girl, Pippi. Good girl, Pippi. I love when Pippi piddles in the potty tray because she like spreads. She, it's like she she looks like she's doing a Pilates move where they're on their their toes and they're bending up. Did you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What is that? The oh, you got the downward facing dog, but what's the what's it? It's on? the one where they have their they're on their hands and yeah. their toes. Yeah, that's like the sun. I don't know. <laughs> Pippi. Oh, oh, oh. Good buddy boy. And it for you. Oh, oh 
play. You missed. Oh, buddy. Okay. It's okay, buddy. Ready? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy there, Mr. Mr. Indy Indy. Indy Indy. Who's next? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Pippi Pippi. I think Pippi's next. Pippi. She's getting a big dose because she is a porker. Oh my gosh, Jenna is so darn cute. I gotta just... <laughs> She's... You guys have to see how cute she is. She Look is, at this. Uh... She's like the movie star. <laughs> Three pounds, six ounces. Whoa! Three pounds, six ounces. Oh, we need to get her FaceTime on the calendar. Oh, yeah. If you didn't hound mom for so much milk, <laughs> your dose would be so big. <laughs> good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. You trying to get them all? Are you trying to get the? All right, who's next? I think it's York because she's given Jenna you Emma. 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 Aw, Indy's nursing on Daisy. He's like, God, you wash the taste out. Miss Emma, I love her name. Laura, you guys, that is, her name, name is perfect. All right, here we go, Emma. Is... Here we go, Emma. Good girl, Emma. Good girl. And we've got plenty of time to teach it to her. She will know it before she goes I home. Sure I think she's already got it. I've been, I've been playing with her a lot and doing Emma, 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 like. Good girl, Emma. Good girl. Two pounds, 12 ounces. Two pounds, twelve ounces. Two pounds, twelve ounces. You're so big. Yes, you are, Emma. Good girl, Emma. Emma. Good girl. That's a good girl. Yes, you are. Oh, I love you too. Yes, I love you too. You're a good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Emma. Oh, that's for you. Your face is bright and so cute. It's okay, sweetie. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's it. Oh. It's okay, sweet thing. Good girl. Good girl, Emma. 
Good girl, Emma. Yeah. So cute. Good girl, Emma. Daisy looks. What a good girl you are, Emma. Emma. All right. Hey, Roseanne. Good morning. Good morning or good afternoon now. Oh no, Jan. She was trying to decide surgery insurance pays 90%, but I don't want her to suffer. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Let's do. Tumor, Jenna. Jenna, Jenna, you're up next. Ready? Yeah, good girl. I know. Here you go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, and my coffee. Thank you for finding it, Pippi. Thank you for finding it. I never was going to find it. Oh, Jenna. Oh, Jenna, Jenna. Two pounds, 12 ounces. Jenna and Emma. Jenna and Emma, same weight class. Come on, sweetie. Hey. Do you see Good girl. Yeah, good girl, Jenna. Good girl, Jenna. Two pounds, 12 ounces. Oh, yawn. You're Emma. It's so funny. I look at them, and I, I see um, tricolor, but I see spikes round head. <laughs> round head, yeah. Hush. It's okay. It's just interesting. It's fun to see glimpses of mom or dad mm -hmm. at different angles. Good girl, Jenna. Good puppy. Good <coughs> puppy doodle. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. Good girl. You took that all in one go. Yeah, good girl, Jenna. Good girl, <coughs> baby. These last two are just. <laughs> Gotta show this to you guys, too. Good girl, Jenna. That's the last yes, two. Good girl. Mm, mm, mm. I know, I know you too. Oh. <laughs> Who's licking my toes. foot? Yeah, Pippi's getting your toes. Good girl, Jenna. Yeah, who's a good girl? You're a good girl, Jenna. Good girl. <laughs> Emma! <laughs> Emma attacking the India. You see his, you see his buttons. Oh, the Beatrix. Oh, we got Beatrix. Let's go to that. Wake up, sleepy Beatrix. It's time to get the way. Oh, sleepyhead. Pippi! Hey, Emma, leave Miss, leave Indy alone. Two pounds, eight ounces. Two pounds, eight ounces. Yeah, two and a half pounds. He's exactly two and a half pounds, she. Beatrix, yep. Well. <laughs> Silly thing. Right. What a good girl. Good girl. Yeah. You sleep your head. You tired. I'm trying to get the cap. Okay, Beatrix. What was that, Jenna? What's that, Jenna? <laughs> good girl, Beatrix. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Way to go. You're such a good girl. What a good girl you are. Jenna. Yes, you are. Jenna's like, I'm ready to go home to my dad. Yeah, I'm ready to go home. She really is ready. She is just, you are good such girl. a ray of sunshine. Good girl, Beatrix. Yep. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Scott, if you're watching, good girl, good girl, good girl. Jenna, you are gonna, you made the right choice. <laughs> you made the right choice. She cannot wait to go home and love you. 
She is definitely a man's dog too. She Yeah. Um she like flocks to Drew. And I like I love her to pieces because she looks a lot like Daisy. <laughs> and she's just so darn sweet. Um, but if she was to pick between me and Drew, she wouldn't pick me. <laughs> yeah, that's just the truth. Mm, I think these days she likes you. Well, that, that might be because I snuggle her so much. Her a lot, but yeah. like before she didn't, she was she's a man's dog. She likes the deep voice. Like just you know then she was. Are you ready? ready? Well, yeah, right away the Mr. Darcy. In you go, Mr. Darcy. Ready? Here we go. Walk away. These puppies are so cute. Emma! Good boy, Mr. Darcy. Emma! Good boy, ready? Here we go. She's Here like, I go. don't know my name now. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, three pounds, three ounces. Melissa, if you're on. Three, three pounds. pounds. Yep, three ounces. He's a big boy. He's a big one. Pounder. Come here, you three pounder. Hi, you. Emma. Hi, you. Good girl, Jenna. Hi, Beatrix. Good girl, Jenna. Good go potty. Good girl. Good go potty, Jenna. Good girl. They take right to it. It just uh -huh. amazes me. Because I feel like we didn't potty train them well enough to be this good. <laughs> Daisy. Oh. Pippi's chewing on her paw. Uh, Man, that's not very nice, Pippi. Good boy, Mr. Darcy. Good boy. You're doing good. Doing very well. Keep going. He's doing that because he's trying to move it over right. into his teeth so he can chew on it. Uh, oh, good boy. Good boy, Mr. Darcy. What a good boy. Oh my God, you guys are so cute. Good boy. Good boy, Mr. Darcy. That's it. All done. All done with the weigh ins. Splat. So, heaviest on the books is Pippi at 3 pounds 6 ounces. Lightest is Beatrix at 2 pounds 8 ounces. Good. Not very tight. Less than a pound separates them. How cute are they? Jenna. Uh, what are you doing, Jenny Jenna? Pippi, reconnect. It's like whenever I stand in front of the door. Daisy does not look like she wants to do this. Listen to your mama, Pippi. <laughs> Hi, Emma. I'm sorry for calling you Emma, Mr. Darcy. This whole new name has really gotten me, gotten me thrown for a loop. <clears throat> or Pippi will play with Beatrix. <laughs> and Jenna's like, now I want to turn. <laughs> oh my. Let's see if Jenna will just snuggle with Daisy. Daisy loves to snuggle her puppies. Um, playing with them is what she's a little pickier about. <laughs> What are you doing over there? Oh, hi, Miss You or Miss Emma? Miss Emma? <coughs> hi, Pippi. <coughs> hi, Pippi. <coughs> hi. Oh, hi. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Jenna. Jenna. Hi, <coughs> Hold on. 
on Paris. Oh, you guys are so sweet. You are so sweet. Don't you on the phone. <laughs> I bet all your mamas would vote no for ending the live stream. Moms and dads and kids, brothers and sisters too. They want to see what you guys been up to while they were at school. Say we went potty in our potty tray. We took our medicine like big doggies. We got weighed and we've all grown lots. And there's mama dog. Emma! 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 You, Emma. You, little Emma, Emma. <laughs> what are you doing, Emma, Emma? Hmm? Uh, <laughs> All the puppies are just like tugging and pulling at something. <laughs> hey, ah, not my socks, please. Not my socks. Uh. Oh, <laughs> Daisy's like, I give up. I've had enough. I'm gonna actually, what I'll do is I will. I'll stationize this one. And then I'll create the stream for the, um, for their play area. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These two are killing me. Because <laughs> Emma gets her by her tail. tail and then, which is funny because Cookie's usually the the uh, the aggressor. The aggressor, yeah. Good morning, Cappy. <laughs> Do you see this? She's just staring at the mm -hmm. food dish, like, please. Mom. <laughs> Please fall. Mm. The image is a lot better. It's not great, but it's as good as it gets on the phone.
cuties. Okay, almost ready for you. Almost ready. Almost have their pen set up, and then we will be set to go. sweet puppies make your pen all nice and then we'll, we'll get set up let me make your pen all nice be right back oh is that cold 